Hello everyone. Today I come up with another topic from biostatistics, which is scales of measurement. It's an important topic. We're supposed to know about scales of measurement, other which different types of data or different types of scales. So before going to the scales of data, we see what is statistics. According to Croxton and Cowden, it is statistics is defined as the process of collection, organization and presentation, analysis and interpretation of data, which is clearly says collection of data, organization and presentation of data, analysis of data and interpretation of data. That is what statistics. Here see scales of measurement. Scales of measurement as it is said earlier is also known as scales of data, levels of data or levels of measurement. A measurement scale is defined as a sort of assumption which is stipulate the relationship between group, object or events being measured. Here see what are the types of measurement scale. Mainly we have four types that is nominal scale of measurement, ordinal scale of measurement, interval scale of measurement and ratio scale of measurement. In the coming slides a detail about each of the types but from the name itself it is quite understand that nominal scale that is something name or ordinal that is rank order interval there is a definite interval between the data and ratio there is definite zero point so first see nominal measurement scale it is also known as classificatory measurement and this is the lowest level of measurement in nominal measurement scale numbers are used to name identify or classify person object or group examples of nominal data there is nominal measurement scales are religion education area of living even gender these are some kind of nominal information otherwise nominal data in nominal measurement numbers of two groups are never equivalent but all numbers of any group are always equivalent here we see what are the statistical operations possible in nominal kind of data he can we can do counting frequency percentage proportion and mode and the major drawback of this data is we cannot perform addition division multiplication and subtraction and it is elementary and simple measurement scale the second one is ordinal measurement scale ordinal measurement here number denote the rank order of the object or the individual in ordinal measurement numbers are arranged from highest to lowest or lowest to highest ordinal measures reflect which person or object is larger or smaller harder or softer heavier or lighter than other person may be grouped based on physical or psychological rate to convey the relationship the examples of ordinal data are socioeconomic status or even student rankings the statistical operations possible with ordinal data includes median percentile and rank correlation the major drawback of ordinal data is they are not absolute quantities nor do they convey that the distance between the different rank value is equal in the sense there is no equal distance between the values 
but we arrange the data in a order maybe lower to higher or higher to lower third scale is interval or we say it is a equal interval measurement it includes all the characteristics of ordinal or normal scale the specific feature of this scale is numerically equal distances on the scale indicate equal distance in properties of the object being measured here the unit of measurement is constant or equal the example of what interval data is vital signs the specific statistical operations possible are arithmetic mean standard deviation carl pearson's correlation t test and f test one of the major drawback of this scale is we cannot perform coefficient of variation with this interval kind of measurement or data finally the fourth level of measurement or fourth scale of measurement is ratio measurement scale this is the highest level of measurement and has properties of nominal ordinal and interval scale the salient feature of this scale is it has absolute or true zero point and other specific feature of the scale is that the ratio of any two numbers is independent of the unit of measurement and therefore it can be meaningfully be equated and the example is ratio 16 is to 28 which is equal to 4 is to 7 the statistical operations possible are mean standard deviation median correlation t test and coefficient of variation that is almost all statistical treatments are possible with ratio scale of measurement and this is a sum i summarize the day information here in the table we can see the different types of scale its description as well as the what are the statistical treatments or analysis is possible first of all nominal scale determination of equality data can be placed into classes so here only central tendency or average we can find by using mode second one is ordinal scale which is determination of more or less or data can be ranked measures of average include mode and median as well as the dispersion that is range we can identify third is interval scale determination of equality of intervals or differences here the statistical treatment possible under measure central tendency we can find mode median and mean under dispersion we can find range and standard deviation then finally the ratio scale of measurement we are determination of equality of ratios measurements have a true zero the statistical treatments under central tendency we can find mode median and mean and under dispersion we can find range standard deviation as well as coefficient of variation hope you understood about this topic and you can you can subscribe this channel for further informations or further updates as well as like and share thank you